this is an absolute necessity to get that sound on the new album i feel like this is key and if you mess this up it can mess up the whole beat what is going on guys brent fires just released wasteland and in today's video i'll be making a beat for brent fires wasteland going through the chords the melodies sound selection drums everything as always i'll be giving free drum kits away to commenters let me know your thoughts on the album down below as well as your favorite song and without further ado let's get into the video so from analyzing a few of my favorite tracks on the album including jackie brown and gatsby the chord progressions are kind of simple for those songs it is just going between between the four minor chord and the five minor chord. I'm sorry, I'm not a touch. You said I'd be out of town too much. And for the BPM, anything between 80 to 140 is pretty good, I would say. But I'm gonna set mine to like 120. So in terms of sound selection, there are a few elements I notice a lot on all the tracks. One is the use of strings, plucked and legato. Two, pads. Pads I used a ton on this album. It adds to the ambient feel of it all. And the last thing is like synth plucks and analog basses. So I'm gonna be using these sounds to create some sort of ambient atmosphere. So first things first, I'm just gonna get the chords and then I will change the sound. So let's just make a minus seven chord and we'll go to the one below it and then we'll just add a little differentiation on the second half so it doesn't get boring <gasps> so now i'm going to change the sound oh i think this one might be a really nice layer so we'll keep that but now let's go find the main pad sound And then I'll send these two to the mixer tracks and just start processing them. Make it really background. So we're starting to get that ambient Brent Fires type feeling. So now let's go in with the strings. So I'm just going to play the root and the third of each chord on these strings. I'll duplicate that over. So now we need the plucked violins. And then maybe with these pizzicato strings, we will uh, like double voice them. So get some more layers to them like this. So let's add some effects onto this one now. First off, let's turn off that annoyingness f reverb. Nope. Let's get some delay too. This is a good one. Ambient melodies and ambient sounds, especially with the strings, really get you the Brent Fires vibes. I feel like this is an absolute necessity to get that sound on the new album. Now let's get some sort of like synth lead just to further accent the melody. So we just added that little accent, a little bit of further texture in. Now let's get the synth lead. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bump these up a couple. But now let's render it out. I'm going to speed it up after pitching it down. Let's start getting some drums in get the bounce for now so the drums are kind of simple they just revolve mainly around the melody and leaving a lot of space in that let's get rid of every second because it kind of sounds cool Thank you. 
so the snare not being in there is strictly going to be for like the intro bit for the actual chorus. It's going to be back in. Big shout out to DistroKid who are sponsoring today's video. DistroKid is an online music distribution service which allows you to get your music on all major streaming sites including Apple Music and Spotify and also now more recently TikTok. DistroKid is a website that should be used by producers and artists. The reason for this is DistroKid has automatic revenue splits. This means the musicians can easily share their money to the producers, the beat makers, etc. This is brilliant as you don't have to worry about accounting. DistroKid takes care of it all for you. You can add unlimited collaborators on any track so if 20 people make the beat you can add 400. And as always DistroKid never takes a cut. You earn and keep 100% of your earnings. I'll have my sign up link in the description which gets you 7% off your first year's membership. Thank you again to DistroKid for sponsoring and let's get back into the video. And I'm just gonna grab a bass from Analog Lab. Some kind of like synthy bass. So I want some more aggression in this bass, so I'm going to add a decapitator. And also to keep the drums very spacious and definitely don't overdo them. I feel like this is key and if you mess this up, it can mess up the whole beat. So let's make a chorus pattern where we have the snares back in, a constant hi-hat too, and we'll add some rolls and stuff. I'm getting a new bass for this section too. My computer must be busting after this one. Oh. That is how I would make an ambient beat for Brent Fires. Please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Drop the roof and let the smoke clear. I got diamonds, do it till she slides in both ears. 